Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with a Genetry Solar video. And I've got here a 20,000 watt transformer. Believe me when I say this thing is a giant. I'm going to call it the octopus. Because just look at it. So this is an unfortunate casualty of shipping. Uh, you can see how heavily damaged it is. And... Uh, Sid and I were on the phone for a little while here trying to diagnose this thing. We figured out a lot about it. Unfortunately, we also discovered that because there's some damage, not only here, there's damage on the underside as well. Um, there's more damage over here. Because of that, I would have to figure out a way to repair this, isolate these, um, because one of these is heating up pretty well um, just by sitting here one of these eight so unfortunately there is some kind of a short somewhere um, you know you can see where these two where the enamels come off and and that's pretty much touching each other like that you can see there's they're touching all over and so on so I mean yes I could spend some time and try to separate the wires and then figure out a way to coat them and all this other stuff but this is a scrap transformer as far as I'm concerned. Powerjack has also written it off as a scrap, and it's really too bad. This thing weighs almost 100 pounds. It is an absolute giant of a transformer, just crazy, crazy giant. And I um, found some interesting stuff about it. You guys already know uh, the main board video that I put out. And, um, yeah, so they've got, uh, you know, they've, they've got an interesting product here i would say it is so big and so tall it's crazy tall i mean this thing is just i can't even describe it's just crazy tall and uh so uh yeah based on what i'm seeing this is a very very good transformer sid was also making the same comments about how it was laid out it's a very good transformer unfortunately this thing just became damaged and it's so heavy you know like i said it's about 100 pounds that, um, you know, it's it's a shame that it's going to get scrapped. And I know somebody out there is going to be interested in acquiring this. And, you know, maybe if you're really, really interested in getting this trans uh, transformer and you want to repair it and you want to pay for the shipping and you want to pay whatever power jack wants to charge for it because, like I said, 100 pounds here, that's quite a bit of scrap um, you know, scrap costs that I can get out of this thing. So it just kind of depends on power jack. If somebody's really interested in something like this, then you can let me know. That's fine. And um, we'll talk about it then. But firsthand now, I can see this transformer is an absolute giant. And so will it handle 20K? I still don't know. But I can tell you that it'll definitely handle more than the AS9 transformer. They're calling this the AS10.5, I think, because it's the 20K, and the AS10 is the 15K transformer, I believe. Some of these inverters are trickling out. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a huge transformer. If I can get a hold of just the transformer itself, I would, in a heartbeat, upgrade my 15K inverter that I have. I mean, in a heartbeat, the chassis of the inverter is identical um, as far as size. So very easily, and because of the, look at the length of these wires. I mean, these wires are just crazy, crazy long, just crazy long wires. Easily, you can put this wherever you wanted to inside of the uh, inverter and still run a mainboard, and it would work perfectly fine. Um, it would be an exceptional, and I do mean exceptional upgrade over what you have now just the transformer alone and imagining powering it off of one of these main boards considering that basically they are using two smaller main boards you would be absolutely styling especially if you had the wi-fi board installed as well so my confidence level has increased it's a shame that this thing became damaged like I said, there's some damage up here, damage on the other side, damage on the bottom, where this was a wrecking ball inside of the inverter. Powerjack did fix that problem. I have a couple of customers who have messaged me who have received their uh, uh, inverter. Sorry, it's late. I'm getting tired. 
they've received their inverter and they've been more than happy with it. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested, if you want to upgrade your current inverter, yes, it is definitely possible. It's the same 36 volts in for a 48 volt inverter. And you get the same out. Now, there is a difference of about 5 to 6 volts between L1 and L2. That's a shame. I have noted that with power jack. And someone else got even greater. So, um, they, you know, they've noted that. They're going to try to fix that problem going forward. But, um, you know, this would be an exceptional drop-in replacement um, for your inverter uh especially the version 9 chassis oh man this thing would be an absolute killer this transformer is a giant and i keep saying that over and over again but it is and if you were to drop one of these things in your um you know it probably would not fit in a 9k or 10k chassis it's just too big but if you were to drop this in a 15k chassis you would be absolutely styling there's you would have so much power at your fingertips because of this transformer. <laughs> so, um, I, because they're so heavy, I am guessing that these are going to be expensive. My guess, now this is just a clear shot in the dark, my guess is based on the price that I'm quoted from PowerJack for the AS9 transformer, these things are going to be at least triple the price. So, um, you know, you're looking at six, seven hundred dollars at least for one of these things. Um, if you were to buy it directly from PowerJack, that's at least I'm thinking that's going to be more into the seven to eight hundred dollar range for one of these things. It's just so big. It's so heavy. And um, it's a huge improvement over their previous uh, Transformers. So if they obviously nail down the. Uh, shipping problem then they'll they'll be good so yeah very interesting um uh so anyway if anybody is interested in this one transformer just let me know i'll try to get a price from power jack see what they want to let it go for um you know parts like this and so on i i take them to scrap yards and i get money for that and then that's um you know just extra money or whatever but um i still have to go through power jack to make sure that that's allowed so um as heavy as this thing is i'd get a pretty fair amount of money for it um shipping is going to be at least a hundred dollars to ship this and i'm not joking ups even with my discounts because it's so heavy um and it would be in a smaller box so it'd be crazy crazy um you know it, it would just be crazy so anyways um yeah, if you're interested, let me know, 833-GENITRY or genitrysolar.com. This is a beast. It could be repaired if somebody wanted to take the time to repair it. You'd have an exceptional transformer um, for you know a fairly decent price. So, Okay, guys, well, there's a look at it. It's a huge transformer, and uh, it's a 48-volt transformer. It's beautiful. It looks Frankenstein. It's like an octopus. It's a uh, pretty good size, and they got some pretty fairly stout wiring here around here, finally, on the output ends. Um, so, yeah, it's a good transformer. So, uh, I'll keep it off from there. All right, take care.